can't go past a cappuccino candle. We've started with a double boiler. So the wax is melted down in the double boiler. We're going to pour the candle, colour the candle, and leave enough space for a second pour where we're going to put the cream on top. Now we want this to be brown, so I've taken a shortcut here, and we're just going to colour it with a stick so that we don't have quite as much, so we don't have quite as much colour in it as a whole drop. So there, if we leave that now, we'll come back to it later. This little one has a very heavy base, so I've actually warmed it, the glass first so it doesn't affect the way that the wax cools and it will look a lot better having done that. So a little bit of colour, stir it in, smells good too, smells just like a coffee. This is a cool way to do it because you keep the pot white and you can make any colour candle you want this way. This is a very cool technique for making striped candles or a variety of candles in one evening because your colour stays out of the pot and you only put into the glass exactly what you need. And I find using the stick wonderful because you can use very small quantities. This is a very convenient wick. It comes primed with the silver tap on the bottom ready to um, secure it in the base of the candle. All I do is pop it straight in. The wax that has set on the bottom is going to just anchor it in. It'll settle in there and there you are. I don't even have to hold it because it's um, going to stay in the centre that easily. The final pour for this, to have the cream frothy top on the coffee, I'm just pouring the white and then we'll do a very special special colour effect straight from the liquid colour. Okay, so now they're all topped up. We've allowed them to cool slightly. So I would go back with the pointy end of the skewer, touch a bit of colour and just be careful not to overdo this. Very easily you can just put too much colour in. So it's just a little swirl, a little swirl and you'll see that it will go far best to experiment and decide how much you like and what works best for you. Always with candle making, work out what works best for you. Here we go. It's nice to play with candle making. There will be all sorts of things that you'll be able to discover yourself that I might not have even thought of. Here we go. Two to go. Okay, we'll just let the last one cool a little bit before we do the final part. Now the last one, we've let it cool a little longer and you'll see that the colour doesn't run quite as much once it's cooler. Still, less is best. If you've ever made a coffee, you'd probably be really good at this. There you go. Perfect cappuccinos.